hello guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to go ahead and start working with the related products i'm going to be showing all the products that are related to a certain products that we have opened up on the detail view page so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Now the first thing I'm going to do is open up my code editor and I'm working with the views.py. Now in the product detail view, I'm going to write one more query over there that's going to get all the products that are related to the products that we are opening up. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do is simply say products should be equal to products.objects. Then this time around, we're going to say filter. So what do we want to filter by? We want to say category and this category is pretty much this one that we have over here. I'm going to open up this. As you can see this category that we have over here that's what we want to fill out with and I'm, i want to bring this side by side so i have some space to work with now i'm going to open this up so i want to say we want to filter by category should be equal to product which is this one that we've got over here but we want to filter by the category of that product so whatever category that this product is in we want to show all the products that have the same categories hopefully you guys understand now I'm going to just get in here and I'm going to pass in products. Okay. So I want to show you guys also how to work with the same thing, but using tags. But well, since we haven't worked with tags yet, I'm going to be doing that in the video where we're going to go ahead and work with tags and you guys are going to see how that works. Okay. But for now, I'm going to pass in products in here. And um, for this one, I'm just going to copy this, get back to the product detail. And we just want to look for related products. So I'm going to look for related products. That's it over there. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and start closing off all the other divs that we've got. Now, um, you guys already know how we've been doing this from the other videos. I'm just going to minimize this one, minimize this, minimize all these divs. Hopefully, they are not much. Yeah, they are not much. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And I simply want to end for over here. And for here, we're going to say for P in products. Okay. So I could even say that you guys are not going to see any products because that product don't have any category yet, but I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. Okay. So for this one, let's see what we've got over there. I'm going to open this up. We've got the image. We've got those hots. We've got the name, the price and the old price. Okay. So let's start changing up all that. Now the first thing is the image, right? I'm just going to, I'm going to override the image. So over here, I'm going to put my cursor, hold shift alt and right arrow to get rid of that. And I'm going to open up the variable tags. And I'm going to say p.image.url. Okay, as simple as that. Now, another thing that I'd want to change is what? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'd, want, I'd also want to change the title. So just over here where we've, we've got the ultra base headphone thing, I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to open up variable tags, vr. And just in here, I'm going to say p.title. p.title. And I'd highly recommend you guys truncate charts, okay? So I know I may have I may forget to truncate charts in some in some tutorials, but I don't want you guys to forget that. Do make sure you truncate charts whenever you want to run because that's really 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 gonna be needed when you whenever you want to deploy your projects. Okay. So what's the problem? Peter title truncate charts twenty. It says okay. That's that's it. I just needed to refresh. There is no problem. Okay. What do you notice now? We got those two products, but this product over here is a pair, right? Now we are still seeing another fresh pair over here. How about we just get rid of this fresh pair since it's the product that we already viewing. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying, but before we do that, let's go ahead and change off the price. So I'm going to start with the normal price before I go over to the old price. I'm just going to say P dot price. Okay. And now for the old price, I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say P dot old underscore price. Okay. So that's pretty much done. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to refresh so you, so we could see that. So now the prices are showing up. Now let's go ahead and remove this product since that's what we are on already. That's what we're viewing. So how do we do that? Now in the views, I'm going to use a simple method and that method is going to be the exclude method. So I'm going to say exclude the I want to exclude. I'm going to say PID should be equal to PID. Okay. As simple as that. And we could even go ahead and let's say get the first four related products or if you don't want, you want to get all the related products, we could get that because this is actually a slider as you can see. So it should be nice if you get that. It doesn't have any end. But if it was, let's say they were stacked up like that, like in the list, then you, you want to get, let's say the four or you want to get um, every new, every new four products. Okay. You could do something like that. 
But since we've, we've done this, I think that should pretty much what we want to do. Now, what do you notice? That product is gone. Now we've got only this one. So let's go ahead and change up the title over there. I'm just going to head back to the product detail. And for the title, I'm, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to put my cursor over here and also put my cursor over here. And I want to get, I want to say P. Okay, that's supposed to be a URL tag. I'm going to open up percentage signs and I'm going to say URL should be equal to call products dash detail. And I'm just going to say P dot PID. So hopefully you guys already know how this works because I've been, you know, working with this in the other videos. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up now. And this time around, we should see this bananas. But down here, we're going to see pair. Okay, that's it. Everything is working perfectly well. Re related products are showing up. But there is one more thing that I'd want you guys to see. Okay, and what's that? I'm going to come over to the shop. Okay, right now we don't even have any shop um, thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to get rid of the shop over here. I'm, I'm just going to make it a link. So let's head over to the base.html and I'm going to look for shop. So, okay, instead instead of the shop, I could I could just look for category. Okay, this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for over here. You know, I, I'm being decisive right now. I'm going to look for the contacts. So this is just what I need. The one that doesn't have any drop down. I'm going to copy the contacts. And just after the, the category, before the shop, that's where I want to paste it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the top. This is the home. This is the category. Then the shop is below. So immediately after the category, that's where I'm gonna paste it. And this shop over here, I simply want to do something cool to it, and that's get rid of it. Okay. So now for the products, I'm gonna open up a URL and I'm gonna say call should go to products dash list. And I'm gonna um okay that should be it. Let's refresh and see if that works. Okay, guys, that's working. So right now we got contacts, but we need to change this over to shop. So we could either change that to shop or change it to products. Okay, but I want to change it to shop. So now when we have the shop, I think that's what we want to do. I'm just going to refresh this and the shop should be over here. Now, if we click on the shop, now we open up our shop section. We're going to be working with this um, sometime in this video. Okay, so now we got three products, right? How about I want to open up this one over here. I'm just going to open up the body lotion. And that's it. We don't have the URL already routed route over there. So I'm simply gonna run over to the to the I think it's called products list. So I want to search for products list and I want to look for pipe. No, I want to look for dot title. This is it over here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put my cursor over here and I'm also gonna put my cursor over here and I want to get rid of all this. I'm gonna open up URL tags and I'm gonna say call. And just in here, I'm going to pass in products dash detail. I'm going to say P dot P I D. Okay. So let's refresh this. That should be working perfectly well. Now, if I open up the body lotion, what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to open up the body lotion. What do you think we're going to see down here in the related products? We are not going to see anything because it does not have any products that are related to it. We're just going to see related products and nothing is showing up. Well, we want to show something like no related products if there are no related products, okay? Or rather, we don't even want to show this text if there are no related products. So how do we do that? We're just going to get back to the product detail and I'm going to look for the related product again. This is it. Now, if you don't want to show up this related products text, if there is no related product, the best thing to do is write a conditional statement and say, if products then we're gonna come over here and if so if there are products which is this one over here then that's only when we want to show the related products okay then we're gonna end if so if products which is this one over here now that's only when we want to show the related products so now if we refresh what do you notice we don't even have any related products text down here again but if we try coming to um now, I'm just going to come to the all categories over here. Um, this is, okay, why is that taking, okay, oh, oh, what's going on? I'm just going to open up the food category. And as you can see, we got two foods over here, right? So if I try opening up one of those foods, and as you can see here, we don't even still have the, the URL thing for the routing. So I'd want you guys to fill up all this. But hopefully you guys get a gist of how everything is happening. If I come over to, to the shop and I open up one of those products over here, 
then we're gonna see the related products text show up let's get down that's the related product so i think that's gonna be it for this video guys to make sure to drop a like because that subscribing has to really mean the world to me and in the next video we should go ahead and work with either the rich text uploading field or the category if you want to get the templates check out the link in the description it should help you get a template and until the next video where we're gonna go ahead and start working with something really cool mad love peace out